Hey guys, what is up, and I welcome each and every one of you to a very new episode of the Digino series. This episode will be featuring Vladimir. Please do not forget to throw in a like if you end up enjoying this video. But without much further ado, let's go straight into his abilities. Vlad's passive states how the bonuses do not stack with themselves, however, if he gets something like a death cap, its AP modifier grants extra health while interacting with Crimson's bonus AP, thus making sort of a loop. The same applies vice versa with items like Spirit of the Ancient Golem. Here's an interesting one. The healing projectile from Vlad's Q ability that flies to him can actually be blocked by Yasuo's Windwall, thus preventing the healing altogether. And what's even more interesting is that Braum can not only block the ability as well, but on top of that, the Q from Vlad will also heal Braum even if he's on the enemy team. On the flip side, if Vladimir has Spell Vamp from something like a Hextech Revolver, he will still get the HP back from that item even if the healing projectile from Q is blocked. Careful with using Vlad's W too quickly after the Q, as it will deny him the heal from the projectile flying back to him. But thankfully, this will not apply if Vlad uses Zhonya's too quickly after using the Q, as it still will heal him. Even though Vlad's W only scales from bonus HP, it technically also scales from 0.21 per ability power thanks to his passive. Don't forget, you cannot use other abilities while in the pool form, nor can you cancel it prematurely. However, summoner spells can still be used. Ignite and other damage over time abilities can still hit Vladimir while he is in his pool form, and ally heals, for example Sona W, that are targeted, will not heal him, nor will his own fountain heal him while he is in his pool form. Though not stated in the tooltip, his W will give him a jolt of move speed when used, which will diminish throughout the duration. Vladimir cannot use his pool to get out of something like Jarvan's ultimate, even though he becomes liquid, technically. This also does include things like Vagar's stun, as Vladimir, while trying to go through it with his pool form, will still get stunned. A very cool thing about Tides of Blood, his E ability, is the fact that he can still hit units that are within brushes and or stealth, much like Katarina's ultimate. The range on Tides of Blood is slightly longer than indicated within the game. Hemoplague's damage amplification works on itself, thus making its actual damage slightly higher than it stated within the tooltip. Vladimir's Q, his E, and his ultimate can all be blocked by Spell Shield, but not his pool. Alright guys, let's go into some cool facts and lore about Vladimir. Vladimir's champion designer was Ezreal, a very familiar name on this series, who also made champions such as Jarvan, Ryze, Ramis, Timo, and so many more. His voiceover is done by someone named Kevin Connolly, who voiced several animes and even voiced the character in World of Warcraft. Vladimir's E ability, Tides of Blood, is directly named after a MOBA that was created back on Warcraft 3 as a custom map. The inspiration for Vladimir's name came from the one and only Vlad the Impaler, who was a 15th century Wallachian prince. Vladimir was released way back in Season 1 and was the second champion to be released within that season, with the first one being Xin Zhao. In the Ionia vs Noxus showcase match, Vladimir was one of the champions available to be selected and was actually played. As stated by Vladimir himself within the Journal of Justice, he does not drink blood directly, but rather drains the life force of his victims. From this, let's go into his lore. It talks about a temple hidden in the mountains between Noxus and the Tempest Flats, holding secrets to ancient sorcery. Around the temple, there are many exsanguinated corpses as a sign of caution to potential wanderers. These corpses piqued Vladimir's curiosity in his youth as he traveled through the mountains from Noxus. One day earlier, a teenage version of Vladimir murdered two boys just for fun and enjoyment. He realized his murderer's desires and intent and left Noxus so his deeds won't catch up to him. He found the temple with a monk within, and as the monk saw the wicked gaze in Vlad, he took him in and taught him how to control the fluids of life. In the final lesson, every drop of the monk was fused with Vladimir, giving him his master's power and those before him. And from this, he returned to Noxus to partake in the league to prove the supremacy of his craft. Vladimir is one of five champions who uses HP as a resource, the others being Aatrox, Mundo, Mordekaiser, and Zack. His joke is a pun on the blood type, be negative. Go ahead, be negative. You'll be just my type. His other quote, 
My cup is half empty. Could be showing that Vladimir is a pessimist. People who tend to see the worst aspect of things. Bloodlord Vladimir's quote, Kneel before Vlad. Could refer to General Zod of Superman. And most of Vladimir's quotes have small changes or hints towards his vampiric attributes, such as The clot thickens. Instead of the usual quote, the plot thickens. Count Vlad refers to Count Dracula. Marquis Vladimir refers to Le Stade de Luncourt, a vampire from Anne Rice's The Vampire Chronicles. Vandal Vlad's Chinese artwork has Vandal Brand and Vandal Gragas in the background since they do all share the same skin theme. Nosferatu Vladimir is a reference to the 1922 movie with the same name, which was the first vampire movie ever made. Bloodlord Vladimir is the second non-comical legendary skin next to Trindomir. The voiceover for the skin is done by someone named Gavin Hammond, who also voiced Varus and Pantheon. Soul Stealer Vladimir's container seems somewhat similar to Thresh's lantern, since both of them do steal souls. Also, Vladimir was apparently responsible for the resurrection of Sion. And finally, he also seems to be a member of the Black Rose, which is why LeBlanc and Swain are listed as friends. Alright guys, that unfortunately does mark the end of this episode of Did You Know featuring Vladimir. If you did enjoy it, please do not forget to throw in a like and share it with your friends. I would also very much appreciate it if you guys could follow me on my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. The description below will contain the links. But as usual, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode, and I hope to see you for the next one. Peace.